This is a book tour of Flavors of Belize, the cookbook. Copyright 2012, McNabb Publishing. When I first flipped through the cookbook, I noticed that the photography was absolutely gorgeous. And of course, I had to look, find out who the photographer and the stylist were. And when I did, I found out they were my friends, Matt Armendariz and Adam Pearson. So right off the bat, I knew I was gonna love every single photo. The first chapter of the book is starters, and here is the page on ceviche. There's recipes for conch ceviche, tuna ceviche, mango lobster ceviche, and grouper ceviche. I love that the tuna ceviche includes both fish sauce and unsweetened coconut milk. And the mango lobster ceviche, my goodness, I would love to have that for reals in front of me right now. The next page features two recipes that I've made, beef saute skewers with habanero peanut sauce. In fact, click on the link to see the video on how to make this dish. It's the best saute I have ever, ever had. Here's another recipe I want to try. This is tortilla soup. Gorgeous. Here's an interesting flavor combination. This is roasted pumpkin soup with spiny lobster medallions and pepito pesto. Now, even if we didn't have the lobster for this soup, the pepito pesto and the pumpkin soup, that's hard to say, sounds so interesting together. I wonder how those flavors will be together. And if you're wondering about the diversity of the recipes in this book, let me read you a little excerpt. In the intervening years, many more people settled here, including West Africans, East Indians, Chinese, Mennonites, and North Americans. Each of these heterogeneous groups brought with them their own distinct food traditions, and when combined with the astonishing diversity of marine species available for consumption, created a uniquely Caribbean flair that ranks among the world's greatest regional cuisines. And here's the page that stopped me dead in my track. Check this lobster out. We've also got sambal recipes, and this is absolutely Southeast Asian influence. Sambal is basically a condiment. Normally you'll see it with a lot of chilies and garlic, but we've got four different ones here. There's ketchup manis sambal, bali sambal, garlic sambal, and tomato sambal. Even though Belize is most known for their seafood creations, there is a meat section in this book. Here we have a very, very tropical pork chops with pineapple salsa, and the other one, curiously, is a curry pork chop Chinese style. I can't wait to try both of these recipes. Okay, here's my husband's favorite part, the barbecue. So there is a Belizean barbecue sauce and Nolan's famous barbecue. Now let me give you a little glimpse of desserts. These are fry jacks here, drizzled, drizzled with some honey. And there's also a recipe for Johnny Cakes or Journey Cakes. I'll read you a little excerpt. This favorite recipe was passed down from the English. While a few stories have been passed around as to the origin of the name, perhaps the most popular one is that they were originally called Journey Cakes because of their ability to last on long trips. Journey eventually evolved to become Johnny. The book contains many different types of sauces and pickles, vinaigrettes, and chutneys, but here's one that really caught my eye. Hot pepper onion sauce, which I think would be fabulous with seafood or pork. It features onions, habanero, cilantro, allspice, vinegar, water, and salt. Here's more. There's pineapple salsa, balsamic vinaigrette, Aunt Al's mango chutney and balsamic coconut sauce, which I thought was so uh, different and interesting. I have never combined balsamic vinegar and coconut milk before, but cannot wait to try this as well. The recipe says it's excellent drizzled over beef tenderloin or fish. The last chapter, desserts. This is banana flambe. Guess what? It includes mango juice in the recipe as well. It's such a simple dessert with only five ingredients, but what a showstopper. Other desserts include Maya chocolate cake, tablada, and fudge featuring nutmeg, raisins, peanuts, and shredded coconut. The book ends with Belizean lemon pie, caramel cake, and Caribbean creme brulee. The back of the book includes a map. You can see that Belize is hugged by many different types of culture. There's Mexico up to the north, and right there is Belize. The Caribbean Sea is right there, and to the left, or to the west of, Belize is Guatemala. They call Belize Central America's gateway to the Caribbean. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this book tour. Make sure you click on this link to see the recipe video for the beef saute skewers with habanero peanut sauce.